What's up, YouTube? Today is day number 2828 of the $1,000 account challenge, and today we're up $181 in the account, or 8.21% of the total portfolio balance. Now, if you don't know, my name is Gates. I'm taking $1,000 and I'm day trading options to see how far we can grow this account. Today, I took two trades in the account, a short on AMD and then a long on Google. So I want to break down those two trades for you, why I took the entries and exits where I did. Starting off with the day trade watch list, we had AMD today as a long idea above $184. It's no surprise that this stock has been running into the all-time highs. This morning, we get a gap up into what? New all-time highs. So the idea here was to go long above the pre-market uh, pre high. However, the stock on the one-minute time frame opened, dropped, and rallied back up. But really, I mean, I know it was closing above 184, but was really struggling to break that true pre-market high. So when I told everybody, you know, we traded live with the team today. What I told everybody was move your level up to that uh, high of day at 184.5. That's been a rejection point like four or five times here. Um, if we can break that point, then we can go long. But otherwise, let's just stay patient and see what we get. So AMD, sure enough, cannot break above the high of day after that price point was made and instead starts to sell off. So we get a break of this uptrend trend line here and the move lower. And as it's rallying back up, I'm telling the team in real time, like, hey, if this creates a lower high and a lower low, we're going to look to take this short. So AMD does create that lower high, breaks down again from this little mini bear flag that we see here, and moves all the way down into the low of day. Now, I did not take my short entry on this candle here, because, or even this candle, because I knew that the low of day was there, right? And I knew that that could potentially be a point of support. So when we get the break back through the low of day, I'm thinking this is not holding as support. AMD lately has just been one of those stocks where once it gets moving, it really moves. So I didn't want to miss the trade. Now, typically I wait for some sort of pullback, right? I would be going short on a pullback like this, for example, um, with a stop loss just above. But in this scenario, like I said, I just didn't want to miss the move. I wanted to make sure that I was in because AMD has, once it gets going, has had momentum to continue to move. So I go short on the very next candle, closer to the top, got a pretty good fill price, and we get the move lower into the low of day. I scale out of this trade uh, twice. So I take my initial profit here at a 20% gain, and then as we get the move down towards the low of day, I was looking for 50%. I wound up closing it for about 45% gain at the at the peak of this trade. My reasoning for closing the trade down here at 45% was that, well, we're close to the previous day's closing price, right? So with this being a up gap this morning, this move down is filling that gap. And if we look back at the previous day, we had a resistance area at 180 and then again here at 179. So all of this is potential now new support, right? So when we're up that 45%, I just said, you know what? This is close enough to 50%. It looks pretty good. We're close enough to the previous day's close. We caught a big chunk of this move. Let's just go ahead and secure the profits. So I took the profits and that was that for this trade. Now the other trade straight again, straight off the day trade watch list was Google long above 150.5. What we were looking for on Google, if I back this up, I have to go all the way back to the weekly time frame here. Weekly time frame. What we're looking for on Google is brand new all time highs. If I change this time interval back to the max available, you can see this is indeed the new all time highs made today. So that is why Google made the watch list because it was a gap up fairly close to that all time high, which was about one hundred and fifty one dollars and fifty cents previously. So we'll we'll put a trend line right there. Uh, the long idea was a break above 150.5, which is going to be right here. We get this initial move up, but much like AMD, at first I'm looking at this and I'm like, you know what, it's it's kind of closing above the trigger, but it's not really um, something that is uh, definitely above the trigger. It's rather struggling. You know, you're seeing a lot of up, down, up, down, up, down motion. So I'm like, 
let's just stay patient and see what this does. It sells off and then rallies right back up to the high of day. And from here, I said, you know what? This 150.5 trigger level needs to be adjusted. Let's move that down to 150.4, given that we have this consolidation from the earlier uh, morning session. That should be our support on any sort of pullback. So we get the rally up to the high of day. The stock pulls back to that support point, and then you get a big green candle right off of that price point. Now the volume here is is key. So let me zoom in, see if I can make this volume bar any bigger. Um, so what we're looking at is the volume bar on this candle here, and uh, this move up off of the support. This volume is telling us higher volume than on average, right? That higher volume on average is telling us that this is indeed a true bounce. And when we're getting this pullback here, what you notice is you have decreasing volume on average. That's what you want to see. On a pullback, you want to see lower volume uh, than the initial uh, pop move up because it's telling you that this is not necessarily a reversal, but rather something that is just kind of correcting from that initial move. So we stay patient. We're looking for the high of day break. You know, I wanted to make sure that this was up and moving. We get the high of day break right here, and then we get the pull back to this old area of resistance as new support. So if I just zoom out and then draw a trend line across all of this uh, price action here intraday, you can see this is resistance, resistance, resistance. Now flip to new support. We take the stock long there and we get the move up into the high of day wound up nabbing 20% profit there. Now, if you <laughs> hindsight is 2020, right? If you look back, you're like, dang, you missed out on so much profits. That is the truth. These contracts ran over 100%. Had we held or had we scaled out, we definitely could have gotten, you know, a much larger percentage than what we took off of this trade. My reasoning though, for taking the profits where I did is because all time highs was up here. It's not far away from where we close the position at. My thought process was that we're already up 20%. Might as well just take the profits while they're offered so that I don't get caught up in any sort of reversal or rejection here. So that's it. Those are my two trades for the day. Again, making us green on the day to end with $181 profit overall. Thank you so much for watching. Press that like button for me if the video has helped you out. And thank you so much for your time. I will see you next week when we continue the $1,000 account challenge. Cheers.